Ooh. You know, we were in a spooky place this weekend. One of those haunted. Ooh. That's it. Mm-hmm. Former slave plantation in Louisiana. I felt mm. the death at that place. I'll tell you that much. I felt the life, especially when King Croc flopped his BBC under the Ouija board. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember that? We were trying to play the Ouija board at the most haunted place in America with King Croc's BBC. Because, I mean, that's if there's a, a way to reach the other world, the, the, the other dimension, um, a create a portal. A portal yeah. could be created. A good portal could be right. created with that thing. You have a massive object it's a you know, interacting yeah. with a spooky kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. know if it was just because it's almost winter, but it was looking a little small. All right. Listen, God listen. damn it. Why would all you? Right. Listen, here's that's all the he's got right now. That's all he's got. My BBC is I, really I called Leo small before we started. That's, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What did you feel? Did you feel anything on the, when no, you no, put no. It on the Ouija board? I felt a little bit, you know, my cock was attracted to a certain letter. Okay, and it was? W. So it's like a winning cock. Is that what you're saying? It's like a... The universe, like the other side, w wanted to cock. tell you that you have a, a a winning cock. Yeah, but I mean, to address what Danny said earlier, honestly, I, I am pretty obese right now, so that's it's stealing some of my inches. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm keeping it a buck. Uh -huh. you know well, it, would it? Well, it's not being used very often though. So why would they call it a winning <laughs> cock? It's got to mean something else. It really, it's about the mindset. My cock's got a different mindset. You know, I, I don't mean? think there was any mindset. I think he jerks off. So often, it's so yeah. hard. I think his dick just torques to the right, mm -hmm. and the W is on the bottom right part of the Ouija <laughs> board. Uh -huh. Oh man, King Croc! What did you? You did say it's another demerit for uh, on your black card, I believe. Yeah, Wait, did he, we he, got a, he got a corner cut off his black card for sure. He did. I, I got him another demerit at Seven uh, Eleven. We were walking into the store, and I'm in costume because you know I bought this costume. And if if we're playing the corporate game in the corporate world, if if Halloween wasn't on a day where you all worked, the next day you would dress up so everyone yeah. could enjoy wearing a costume at work. I wanted to wear a costume at work. But Halloween was on Monday, which is a day when everybody works. Mm -hmm. We were we, gone. We however. were gone. We were not working. Mm -hmm. And you would have it would have been nice to get a text from you, Leo. Like, mm -hmm. hey, Danny, wear a costume. And instead, I'm sitting here mm -hmm. in a floral shirt dressed like you usually are dressed. But this would be one of your straighter days, <laughs> some, let's be honest. Some could argue that you look a little like Aust uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Ace Ventura, right? Uh, it's a little Ace Ventura-ish. Uh, somebody stop me. There it is. That's the mask. That's, That's that the, was mask. the mask. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> King, King Croc, yeah. yeah this black card, though. Yeah, the this thing black is, demerits. How does it work? Uh, yeah, if a bunch of your homies from Inglewood, mm -hmm. guys he plays dominoes with, right. guys who... Is it dice? Is it more dice or dominoes? Dice. Shoot dice. dice. Okay. If they walked in on that, or if they saw a video of that, they would probably put some sort of hit on him. You think, you think it was instant death? He wouldn't be allowed back in Inglewood. They might not pursue him, right. but he can't go home and visit his mama no more. They just killed one of hey, the Migos over a game of dice mm -hmm. in Houston like uh, know, two days ago. Scary. He Russell might Peace. have been trying to roll with his penis. Danny, I have a little, I have a, a little, a little improv idea I'd like to do. I'd like to mean you to be the, ju the black demerit judges. Yeah. And King Croc has to tell us what he did with the Ouija board in Louisiana. Oh, my God. This involves us doing black voices, doesn't it? Well, I mean, if we're going to make it accurate, Danny, well, what do you want? <laughs> it's not racist. All right. You're going to be, because, Leo, you do such a good black voice. Mm -hmm. You're going to be our boy. You're yeah. going to be Dante. I'll be Dante I'm, Culpepper. Yeah. I'm going to be the black dude who's a computer programmer and maybe has a job in Silicon Valley. All right. They can okay. both be on the board of, for the demerits. They're both on the board. We could have our sep we could have separate arguments, you know, but we're going to reach a conclusion. Okay. So you have to tell us, uh, young black man, how you doing? Uh, how you doing, my man? Hey, what's good, honey? How you doing, man? So you have yeah. your demerit I'm just gonna conference? Some, I'm just going to have some fun, too. Sup, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, you you so. at the demerit conference, motherfucker, you know, uh, <laughs> we ain't at the conference. <laughs> demerit conference. It's like Consumer Electronics in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah, we at the yeah, fucking we at conference, the, bitch. And we at your demerit we conference, We up at the bro. fucking win Las Vegas, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, motherfucker. The fucking SW Steakhouse, bitch. Have a seat. Let's go, motherfucker. Thanks for stopping by the booth, motherfucker. No, so. we're at the SW Steakhouse. Okay, we're at the Steakhouse, and we ready uh, We ready to listen to what you did, and, and you, we'll give you an answer. Go ahead, son. All right, bro. Niggas been talking mad shit, but I'm going I'm to give it to you straight facts. Mm -hmm. No cap. So, you know what I'm saying? I pull my, my I pull my shit out. I pull my piece out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you mean you fucking nine? 
Yeah. You pulled your you gun out. your Glock? I pulled, I pulled a whole 44 out. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, I man, listen, caliber. man. At, at the Demerit Conference, you got to be straight up, motherfucker. Right, you I can't pulled, just be using metaphors and up. shit. You'll be paying for that fucking prime rib on yourself, motherfucker, if you don't <laughs> tell us what's up. Yeah, if you think we covering that steak, motherfucker... You better. <laughs> it's SW motherfucking steakhouse. It's 149 for a T bone, bitch. You think we made a money, motherfucker? Well, Which, what you doing bringing that motherfucking white claw into this place? <laughs> hey, man. You's a bitch. We drinking, <laughs> we drinking Cavassier in fucking 1942, motherfucker. And that's it, motherfucker. I you a can't. bum ass. What you bringing your McDonald's cup? Motherfucker. You and your I'm fucking sorry, sugar pause, free. Pause. You see this you shit? You making, you making mixed drinks at our dinner, motherfucker? <laughs> you making motherfucking mixed drinks here, motherfucker? That is some corny this. shit. That is some corny <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. Now continue. What you mean? You pulled out your piece. What you talking about? So I, I pull my shit out, bro. Like, no. What you talk? Be specific, motherfucker. <laughs> I pull my dick out and shit. Hey, hey, it was a bitch there. It was a bitch in the crib. Okay, there was one bitch. How many motherfucking got? <laughs> It was like four niggas. Like, Wait a oh, second, this motherfucking uh, ratio is uh, fucked up, uh, man. Yo, this is <laughs> damn. It sounds sus as fuck, bro. What'd, put, you, what'd you do with your? Piece? I put my dick on the fucking Ouija board. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it just started moving and shit moving. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't know oh, what to say, bro. Man. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Tyrone? Man, I just man, I'm just upset, man. I, if you my son, I'll beat your ass <laughs> right now, <I'm> a, <laughs> You know what? Your dick out. I, I got a controversial take on this uh, motherfucking what you subject. Saying, motherfucker, what? motherfucker, you know, you know who be the blackest bitch in our community? Who that? That motherfucking Miss Cleo, she, and Miss Cleo yeah. does the tarot cards. Yeah, that bitch black as sin. <laughs> she real black, yeah. And this motherfucker, he doing the Ouija board with his dick. Yeah, he's like the 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 guy, Miss Cleo. All right, yeah. man. Well, if you do, if you using it. For the end goal of pussy, well, there's something we can talk about, motherfucker. So is that you remember Miss Cleo? Of course, Miss Cleo. Uh, she would kill it. Yeah, she had those crazy ads. You're a Libra, aren't you, darling? I think she was acting too. She's dead. She's dead. Yeah, she was a, th- a theatric chick. She was big into theater. Wow. Yeah, she killed it, dude. She I, made a lot of I money. Hope, hopefully, she made a lot of money. Mm. King Croc, I like what you did. But I, what made me get on this tangent is that King Croc, he's a dripper. Mm-hmm. Pre cum, it's spilled out all over the Ouija. <laughs> Yeah. Device. I saw. I mean, I think we all could see his future when uh, you know King Croc. Uh, every now and then, will uh, uh, say things about Latinas. Mm-hmm. He wants. To, he said he wants twenty two Latinas in in thirty days. Some you're going for some kind of goal, some kind of crazy. That'd be epic record. But uh, the Latinas mixed with that pre cum, it's a child. Yeah, King Croc. What if you happen to knock up, say, uh, an Asian girl, and your son once he's born, you see right away. He's got an SBC. Oh. He's got a small black cock. You chuck him? He's a little dick nigga, bro. You go China? You go all China and huck him over a bridge? I might I might just have to dip, bro. I might just have to dip. A nigga not trying to be a part of no small dick family. <laughs> bro. My family think, got big dicks. Croc, you think what are the chances we find an SBC? A small black cock that wants to just talk about it openly on the pod. Would you even sit next to him? <laughs> We might have to scrap, to be honest. We, I Why? Because he's just, just not, that nigga up, bro. He make me look bad. Not one of you. He's <laughs> not one of. He's gonna piece him up, dude. Can you imagine? That nigga, bro. <laughs> Can you imagine him just, just absolutely annihilating an NSBC? Hey, King Croc, I'm gonna say something right now that you're actually. It's the context you're gonna like. Would you pack him out? Just beat his ass. We're not talking about fudge packing. I'd pack him out. You'd pack him me out. Me and my yeah. homies pack him out. There we go. Finally, we can say packed out to King Croc, and he accepts it. While we're on the subject of procreation, let's let this video roll of Dino and his mystery woman. The woman he took sexually right here on the couch King Croc's sitting on. Wow. Oh, Sorry to yeah. remind you, King. Well, he was at Brooks's wedding. I guess we can talk a little bit about Brooks's wedding. He got mm-hmm. married to the lovely, large tated Italia. Congratulations, guys. Yes, congratulations to Brooks Cossover. Yeah. If this reaches him. Congrats, Brooks. I say we review this piece of footage right now of Dino and his woman. Let's just take a look at it. Oh, that's loud. Oh, yeah, boys. <laughs> All right, so he's proud of his moment, his moment in the sun to, to prove. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, wow. He's no longer an incel. <laughs> He's no longer an incel. Dino, you put your penis in her this night, the night of the wedding, I understand. Yes. You did it in her car, you're saying? Yes. He, he had sex with her in her car. Wow. Can we... Do, you want to come sit over here real quick, Dino? We'll talk to Dino, right? Yeah, we, we need to talk to him to give him uh, the advice the two big brothers would give him. Mm. You know, this now is what I'm worried about. Yeah, we're, oh, there's a lot to worry about. This girl, her name is Maria, and we have been talking already today a lot about the fertility of Latina women. Mm -hmm. Oh, women. yeah. Dino, I can see you being that kid who knocks up a Latina, still doesn't have a job, mm -hmm. lives with his parents, <laughs> and your parents become the grandparents of the child and raise that baby like their own while you get stoned and play Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wear a condom. I'm responsible. Are you? Oh, yeah. You're responsible, Dino? I wrap it up like a mummy. I heard when Leo pressed you recently on what you want to do with your life on the Patreon, I heard you told him you want to build a space station with your face on it in the sky. Yep. Yeah, it shoots a giant laser that can blow up the moon. Yeah. That is not the answer of somebody who has their shit together. <laughs> yeah, it's he called it an egg or what is it? Uh, the death egg, man. The, the space egg. colony arc. It was a really great conversation. You gotta play Sonic Leo Adventure 2. Check out Leo and Friends, guys, for insightful stuff like that. And I asked these guys, because he explained that to me today, and I said, oh, what Sonic game is this from? Maybe if it's the one that just came out and it's trending right now and all the Twitch dudes are playing it, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. The game... And in fact, one specific cutscene he's referencing, though, it's from 1999. It looks epic. <laughs> you know how much of a stoner? I'm sorry, Dino. I mean this with all due respect. You know how much of a stoner piece of shit you got to be to base all your ambitions on a cutscene from the 90s? <laughs> I mean, Danny, there's a lot to worry about with Dino. And now that he's having <laughs> sex with a teenage girl. How old is she? She's 18. Too old for Leo. Too old for me. <laughs> just barely, just barely. But yeah, she is too now old. Listen, uh, I'm worried, buddy, because I saw in your eyes when you were kissing her, because I have a longer makeout session actually on my phone. Mm. It sounds creepy, but it's not, it was not used for anything. He's already jerked He's off. He's a creepy I have not ass motherfucker. Off. But what, I saw, <laughs> what I saw in Dino's eyes was love, Danny. Oh, Ooh. is this one different, Dino? Uh, I've only met her a few times, honestly. But but she, she's cool so far. I mean, but you know, sometimes women be crazy randomly. So Dino, you don't really know. go ahead and admit to everyone right now that you and her are official. Declare uh, it. Uh, well, we aren't really, dude. I wanted to like buy some flowers or something first. No, but no, you're no, not no, sleeping okay. with others, correct? You will not yeah, touch I'm another. Not. You're not going to touch another and girl. Listen, Dino. What do you think this chick wants? Some decaying organic matter that bees live in? Ugh. Or a shout out on the greatest podcast in the universe? <laughs> That's what she wants. She wants you to make it official with your voice right now. Oh, wow. With me, Leo, and King wow. Croc. Yeah. See, you think we're all about like getting pussy and being these guys that are about like womanizing, womanizing and stuff? <laughs> Fuck you, Dino. The truth I is, I thought you were like the cheese dick guy. <laughs> Shut up, Dino. Let Leo continue. So we're... Fuck you. You're re you've referenced so far that I don't get pussy and I have, a, and I have cheese on my dick because I'm <laughs> uncircumcised. <laughs> when I'm trying to give you a speech about love, you're a piece of shit, dude. You have so much to I'm grow. Based. You have so much to learn in this world, Dino. Don't Leo makes break a good that point. girl's heart. But he loves her. He loves we're her. I can tell. It's his first love, Danny. We think you and Maria mm -hmm. need to settle down the sooner the better and have your own brood. I can yeah. see you guys up in the mountains with a few goats. I should just put a ring on it in already. An organic vegetable yeah. garden. It and she good. should have a ring on her finger. Yep. Shit. And we want to expedite that by having you declare your exclusivity and the officialness of the relationship now. Use with her King name. Croc presiding. Use Dude. her name. Can That's we call so her? Right. Will she answer if we call her right now? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's call her. What day is it? I don't know. Wednesday? It's Wednesday, Wednesday, Dino. I've lost track, too. I'm, I She's feel like Dino working. right now. Oh, wait, being on the road. Me, too. Dino, Where are you? Look how lanky and skinny and tall he It's weird. And he's wearing my hand-me-down shoes. Did you have sex with her while wearing my shoes? I took them off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that 
goes towards I f- maybe I don't get a full body on my body count, but I should get a point two five. If somebody's oh, wearing my clothes while they fuck a girl, I think, yeah, at least For a sure. third, a, a, a point three, 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 three. You need uh, some Dino. All right, I got her number, so I just fucking dial it up. You and got d- her and number. And wow. Oh yeah. Job. <laughs> he said that like he just approached her at the mall. Just call you already her had sex give, with her. Just call her and give Danny. The phone I, to him Danny. going official on the pod is really? beautiful, isn't it? Well, I think it's really beautiful. You got to go yeah, official. This, on this the is pod. a love story, bro. This is yeah. honestly. This is. Thank you, Dino. Her name's Maria. Leo, yes. I'm gonna let Pre- the Casanova take already. prima nocta. I'm gonna let the Casanova especial handle this. That's you, baby. Oh me? Okay, I got you. That's you. Come on. She's not gonna answer. Fuck. She might not. She's freaking out right now. Like, oh my god, he called me. I don't know how to speak on the phone. Yeah. I've only texted and TikToked my whole life. Yeah, she's used to one sentence incoherent texts. Right. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> based uh, weed. <laughs> Please leave your message. Damn it. Damn let's it. leave her a message. Let's leave her a message. Oh, too late. I already... Um, Come on, let's do it. We're going to do it on our answering machine, right, so cool. this is official, and she knows about it. All right, let's do it. We'll call her back. I'm calling All her All right, now, here. Austin, can you play a little bit of romantic music? Copyright free, if you please. <laughs> I love it. King Croc. Can he be the minister? Oh, yeah. Can you be... Okay. I need somebody with that silky... Not silky, that uh, syrupy James Earl Jones baritone. Baritone, yeah. I need that. King Croc, you're going to say a few words. Okay. We're all going to share a memory. And then Dino's going to declare this relationship official. Mm -hmm. I think it's saying to leave the message. Hello? Oh, shit. Hello. She answered. Is this Maria? Yeah. Maria, this is Daniel James Bryan Mullen. I'm going to pass the phone over to my compatriot, Leandro Dottavio, and he's going to explain to you what's going on. Hi, Maria. How are you? I'm Leo. I, uh, I'm a co-worker of your great love, Dino. You might know him as Derek. We, of course, call him Dino lovingly. You're aware that uh, he works on this podcast, correct? Yeah. Well, he wants to tell you something, and he's been feeling these things for a very long time. You see... He's had the image of what an absolutely perfect human being is in his head since he was a baby, right? He told me the other day that he looked at you, and as soon as he saw you, he knew that you were that image, that image of beauty he's always had in his heart. Now, this might seem like a lot, but he wants to tell you something, and he wants to do something right now. That is going to change the course of your life and his forever. Dino, come get the phone and tell the beautiful Maria what you have to say. Put her phone right up to the, the microphone. Hey, yo, what's up, Maria? Put it right up to the microphone. Her. What's up, sugar lips? <laughs> you sounding cute right now. I just wanted to say, I thought you're real, real hot, baby. Hey, poor music choice. You're killing the vibe. It sounds like a, a, a boat trip in, in a Venice canal. You know, it actually okay. matches all the horse shit coming out of Dino's mouth. Right now. <laughs> Dino, Dino, be romantic. Come on. I was wondering, do you want to be my girlfriend? Austin, Austin, turn it down a little bit. Okay, never mind. I really like you. And I would like to be a girlfriend, but I'd like to talk to you, preferably when you're not with your friends. Listen to me, Maria. Oh, yeah. Now there's a problem. Go back. Yeah. Oh, Maria. Come on. We're his family. We're more than his friends. As Dino's family, mm-hmm. <laughs> unofficial big brother, as a guy who helps him cultivate pot in the summers, a guy who occasionally plays video games with him, mm-hmm. and as a guy who's seen his penis which I know you have too, but as a male, that's a very strong bond. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say that this relationship, it's a take it or leave it type thing. You want to be with him, you accept our terms right now, or you can hang up this phone, but (laughs) Dino will never accept another call from you again. (laughs) What do you think, Maria? That's really tough. 
Well, life's tough, baby. Yeah. Um, well, since I feel as if I've been put on the spot. You haven't. Don't feel that way. I feel that way. Don't. And you're giving me an ultimatum. No. It's not an ultimatum. <laughs> it's not an ultimatum. It is an ultimatum. No. I'm just saying <laughs> declare your undying love to Dino or never see his face again. That is an ultimatum. No. I can't even. I don't know what ultimatum you're means. I don't know what an ultimatum is. I'm not sure. Is, is, is that fun. like ultimatum? Is that I don't like no? Is that like the the fighting championship? I believe Ultimate, so. Yeah. Ult- it's it's the ultimatum championship. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's every yeah. year. Uh, last year, I believe, uh, I think George St. Pierre won it last year. It was in, he's, he's old. He, nobody even, he's older, but he still won it last year. Yeah. Yeah. He's got some hardware. Yeah. Maria, let's get back to this. Well, since you don't know what an ultimatum is, it's a final demand or statement of terms, the rejection of which results in retaliation or a breakdown in relations. Listen to me. Listen to me. Because you're not listening. Oh, I'm listening. Because I'm a part of this, too, and I don't know who you are, and Dino doesn't even know who I am. Oh. We have barely hung out. We need, I just... Tell her that he thinks anime is this, bullshit. I have been put on the spot. Dude, life is fine. Maria, I just want to say this. The good news is Dino might not know you, but after knowing Dino for a couple of hours, you more than know him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dina. Maria, I'm going to let you talk to Dina one more time. I'm sorry if this came off a little ultimatum-y. Let's try once more. So what's up? The choice should be easy. I'm a base gangster <laughs> oh from the God. streets. Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah, pretty based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, Dina. Well? Yeah, it was- I got out of a relationship not... Like with not even like six months ago. Ask ask her if and his I, dick was smaller than yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Generate some like, positivity because we know it is. I think Kid Croc's got to use his, 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 his line on. Dino, Dino. Dino. Croc's going to talk like about her ex real quick. More time with yeah, you getting the, to know who you are before committing to a relationship. This is gold. I feel man. that, but like <laughs> my dick's way bigger than his, right? So like. <laughs> Yeah, and I care more about dick size. Exactly. That's not good so news I'm for in. me. I could, that's not what I meant. No, she could care <laughs> less about dick size. <laughs> let's <actually>. go. <laughs> uh, let's, here, let's go. I think I King, King Croc... What walk. I meant to say is that I don't care about dick size. I care more about your personality. <laughs> You're with the wrong like, chick, Dino. Hey, personality <laughs> over dick size, the, wrong chick. Yeah. Danny, you know what I've heard? I heard that King Croc knows her ex, and he has a few things to say about <laughs> yeah, her, yeah. her ex, I believe. Yeah. So what are we... He's, 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 he's an LD what? <laughs> Listen, Maria. <laughs> this is King Croc. Uh, but the phone's backwards. Huh? I hope he does. Listen, <laughs> Maria. <laughs> this is King Croc. And I know the nigga you used to fuck with and shit. <laughs> That's a little dick nigga. <laughs> My boy Dino, Big D Dino, by the way, that's the guy you want to be with. You feel me, shorty? <laughs> Put the romantic yeah, music back on. Real shit, nigga. Oh, oh shit. Dick, King Croc, keep talking. <laughs> no, no, keep telling her about it. Tell her, tell her about how you found her ex in a Save Mart parking lot and you beat his head in with a <laughs> torque wrench. So I was, I was cruising the other day and shit. I saw that nigga used to be with. <laughs> He was at Ross in the parking lot. <laughs> I the romantic that music on. Caused it. But the romantic music on. I really okay. tell you what. a beautiful moment. moment. Yeah. <laughs> so. Put her back up, King Croc. There we go. He was walking out of the store. I hit his bitch ass <laughs> with my stick. I knew he was a little dick nigga. <laughs> So it was going to be easy. Straight folded that fool. And real shit, Dino would never get folded like that. So why wouldn't you want to be with him? 
do want to be with him. Oh, absolutely, so you do. This is beautiful, Leo. It's really beautiful, uh, dude. You're tearing up. I am. Wow. It's young That's love. That's a beautiful thing, Maria. So I know you're young. You're barely 18 years old. Too old for Leo still. <laughs> Stop there are it. things in life, Maria, that you've got to just do. You've got to take action. You can't wait because life is fleeting. Uh-huh. And Lil Dick Niggas ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is a quote for the century. You feel life, me? Life is fleeting and Lil Dick enters ain't so shit. Know, if you know what my ex did to me, oh God. but that's taught me a lot of life, life lessons. Did he cheat and on her? Let's Maybe Leo will like figure out what happened. Yeah, come over here. Before, before. Leo, Sorry. be very delicate I'll about this. I'll be very, very delicate. Wait, come over here. Let's talk about her ex. Maria, we're bringing the phone over to Papa Leo. Hi, Maria. He really wants me? Maria, I'm a, I'm a dating coach on my free time, and uh, I know the pain that can come from a breakup. So what did your ex do to you? We could talk about this, and maybe we can warn Dino about what he shouldn't do in his relationship with you. You know what I mean? So feel, to, feel free to speak freely about uh, what happened with your ex. Some place to be right now. It's okay. This is only going to take a couple more minutes. Did he... Was he unfaithful? At some point in that relationship, mm -hmm. I what he did was deemed unfaithful to me, mm -hmm. but since then, my views have changed. Okay, so he played Pokemon Go with another girl or something. <laughs> No. Okay. Well. He he found a Jinx, and it worked its it's worked its way up his lineup to be his number one Pokemon. And you know, Jinx has the big tits. <laughs> right. That was an act of infidelity. Uh, was, okay. So what was it? Was it uh, was it pornography? Was it? it was, yes. It was pornography. Oh, you're in trouble, dude. See, I don't watch porn though. Well, you're in trouble. <laughs> Dino claims That's not to watch it. porn. Well, you just, let me talk to Maria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> gotta get. You <laughs> broke up with your boyfriend because he spanked no, it to some porn. Me. Oh, that's a different subject. What, he, hate oh, her? he just said he, he beat her. her. Oh god! All right, oh, I'm sorry. That's he beat me, but he we disavow. He did he what? Committed domestic violence. Oh wow! I'm but so he, sorry. but then you just said he didn't beat you. What? What happened? Well, with... He he was hitting me and he threatened me with a knife. Okay, and he yeah. Cut my hair. So okay, that's bad. And held me in my house against my own will. All right, so that's interesting. You gave us two things he did, and you presented them as if they were both equally objectionable. Jerking off to a Lisa Ann video and beating you. That's very serious, Maria, and I'm sorry. The, the latter one, I'm sorry about. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa Ann's hot as fuck. So. Dino, the good news is not, he, he doesn't not, watch porn. He doesn't want hear me out. He doesn't I would watch never porn. I think he would do that. He, not, he, I wouldn't he, ever think Dino would ever hit me. He, well, even if he did, but, the good news is he's incredibly iron deficient, so it wouldn't do much damage. <laughs> All right, you know what I'm saying? This guy's like a straw man. <laughs> this guy's like a scarecrow. Probably weighs the same. Dino, wrap it up. I always wrap it up. Well, we found out a lot about this girl, though, and <laughs> you guys circle back. You still want to be with her? I mean, yeah, I still want to be with her if she does after that fucking shit. <laughs> Y'all just put her through. You had nothing to do with it? Yeah, that was all your fault. You called yourself a based gangster of the streets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. That was based. Tell her you love her. <laughs> Tell her you love her. Yeah. I love you, Maria. There we wow. go. That's good. Boom. I love you, too. Yeah! yeah we, dramatic hey. music. Romantic oh my music. God. Rather. Good shit. Yes. I always knew that Dino was going to be wifed up like so quickly. Oh, beautiful. This beautiful. Is crazy. So, Dino, you just got to promise me now you'll keep your paws off Maria. Unless, unless, of course, it's... Oh, they have to... I think so. Stop you know, I, we need to have some sort of ceremony. Maybe we can do it on camera where we uh, we rebuild her cherry. Yes. <laughs> Maybe one of her girlfriends can put an actual cherry yeah. up Maria. Oh symbolically, it'll be restoring the cherry. Right. And then maybe Dino, we can make him a plaster vagina mm -hmm. and he puts his cock in it and then he withdraws it like the sword and the stone. Oh, I love that. And symbolically his virginity is being restored. And I'd like them bo both, they should both be in medieval attire too. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Leo. It really is. <laughs> it all is. Yeah, I want a suit of armor or something. A suit of armor would be cool. It could be a knight. You know, I've got to go. All right. Tell Let's you love her again. Tell her you love her one more time. I love you, Maria. Peace out. Later. 
Oh, well, she wow. didn't say it back the second time. Yeah. I don't know oh, if she heard wow. Trouble in paradise. Oh, guys. boy. And also, Dino, sorry to tell you this. Leo's been DMing Maria. Peace out, Maria. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Big Bunches Only also is close by, guys. We Hell, have a yes. He's just nice. making a joke. Dude, this is, I can already see the title of this video. Dude. Dino is official. Dude. Yes. Oh, my God. He's taken, man. He's taken. This is pretty wild, though, if you think about it. Honestly, I was thinking since the day I met Maria, which was the first time Dino met Maria. That wasn't the, ironic. Or actually, you technically were there, but I don't think you met her the first time. No? Whenever, I was hitting on her during a video. Oh, yeah, you're right. Called a shout of the hedgehog. Yeah, it was the there. day Dragon Ball Super aired. I tried to get her to go, but she didn't. Dude, we went and watched that that same day, like after. Yeah. Yeah. But she came to the studio for a stream. I was streaming. I'm like, yo, I'm big dog. I'm not finna stop streaming. She got on the stream. She made me a lot of cash. <laughs> yeah. Got a lot of viewers. <laughs> Wait, just your chick was stripping on King Croc's stream? No. no. The first time Dino sat down to hang out with this girl was live on stream on King Croc's YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, well, that's a based move. Dino's got a lot of confidence in himself. Put her through the fire, dude. Uh, that's right. That's People what I'm talk saying. Shit. Dude, I think they could be a content couple, bro. They've got the chops. Um, mm. I will say that. Only fans couple. I want to talk a little Big Brother actual stuff with Dino. When you first, the, the first, the girl that you first really, really like is kind of a dangerous one, though, because you are much more attached to the first one because you don't really think that that feeling that you have is going to come back again because it's kind of hard to find. So if she breaks your heart into a million yeah, little Yeah, I'm pieces, pretty self-aware, though, man. You know, I know you are. Base. You are. But uh, yeah, if anything, I mean, you know. If you're crying alone in a parking lot one day, just know we've all been there, buddy. <laughs> we've all been there, kid. Do you know, we've all been there, and it can really, I don't know if you know this, Arthur Miller, when Marilyn Monroe broke up with him, oh. he wasn't able to write for years and years. Mm -hmm. And I'm just worried that we're going to come into the studio one day, and, you know, Marie's going to have cheated on you. Mm -hmm. And you won't be able to hold the pole of a camera while you sit in a chair. <laughs> I won't be able to fucking you. You. <laughs> what you're very you limited. I mean, you very you 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 basically almost do nothing every day, <laughs> and it could f basically make you paralyzed. It I could, love shaky it hands. Could paralyze. <laughs> what if so? Dino, he's got really three things he does. Right. He smokes weed. He holds the action cam and he prays. Right. <laughs> what if he just he comes in here, Leo, and he's so distracted by the tragedy of Maria that he's just I can't even smoke the weed anymore, man. <laughs> right. That's dude. <laughs> Dino, if you don't me and Danny have been around the sun many more times than you. We've seen this before, dude. We've seen this. We've seen this exact thing that you're seeing Danny do before, buddy. People, shit, buddy, the guys that end up the worst are the guys that let the heartbreak really set in and change them as who they are as a man. Do you know, right now you go to bed at 4 a.m. and you wake up at 2 p.m. Who knows, man? If she breaks your heart, you might be waking up at 7 a.m. and going to bed at 10 p.m. You could be It'll completely it invert your schedule. If we're fishing, man, if we're fishing, I'm up. You know, you if we're not fishing, then I'm going to sleep in. What does that mean? You gotta wake up early to catch the fish, man. <laughs> so you've never caught a fish in your life. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I could outfish you any day, Danny Bolin. I don't know if this is a metaphor, I, I but he's, he's just talking <laughs> about going and catching some bluegill. I, I think he's talking about fishing uh, online, probably. What are you talking about? Are you talking about fishing? He's probably talking about like the Legend of Zelda or something, yeah. casting out your rod. <laughs> Monster Hunter. What do you need some more mana? Yeah. I'm talking about clapping ass and catching bass. Hey. Oh, it's a sexual thing. It's, it's, it's fishing you know, is banging chicks. And, yeah, when have you ever heard. woken up early to go get pussy? <laughs> 7 a.m. is not prime pussy time. Sounds like the opposite <laughs> of what you do. I mean, I guess for him, he does go to church. So maybe 9 a.m. mass, there's... I mean, it's mostly elderly ladies, but occasionally there's that one girl with the really big eyes who's in the pews, and she's pretty. She comes from good breeding. We met one of them on the plane, actually, oh, we Leo. Did, yeah. We met a Christian missionary on the plane, and yeah. she had the... Yes, and these eyes, yeah. I'm going down to Nicaragua. I, I enjoy a good glass of rosé. Mm -hmm. Early to bed, early to rise. I play piano. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mostly traditional hymns. She nice. she told us Joseph Smith was going to burn in hell when we brought up uh, Mormonism. Damn. <laughs> yeah, probably. Let's transition, though, to the airport because mm. we had one of our most productive days of mostly off-camera mischief ever yeah. yesterday at the airport. <clears throat> so we had a couple guys that <laughs> normally don't go on these treks with us. You know, me... 
Danny and Nico have been on many uh, an adventure, but we had along for the ride this time around, Ian and King Croc. King. Editor Ian and King, King Croc. And see, what people don't understand about me, and, me, Danny, and Nico is that when the cameras are off... Shit gets gay as fuck. <laughs> low key, yeah. low key. Low key Apparently. gets gay as it, it stays the same gay level, but we still do bits. It, True. Everywhere we go, I mean, there's going to be... Somebody gets embarrassed really, really bad. And But see, I would say our the difference with us is we're still socially aware. Because we have these people that they know about the channel. They come around and... Mm -hmm. They try to have that same kind of energy. They're always in bit mode or whatever. But yeah. They're not as finesse as you guys. You, you know, know what I mean? they're thank not you. as. I, I'm, thank you. I know it's going to be a compliment. But then but we're going to describe what we did. Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw a little asterisk <laughs> on there because <laughs> when there are no cameras running, our bits get really boneheaded or yeah. really, yeah. really fast. <laughs> really fast. <laughs> and yeah. let's yeah. just. So let me just get everybody started. Please, if you're listening, I'll describe the scene, but it, preferably be on YouTube and watch this clip. Let's uh -huh. watch it. We learned that Nico. Nico was taking a shit yeah. in uh, one of the bathrooms at the Denver airport. That was just our layover. So I probably had Leo film and follow me in to do this. Mm -hmm. Can we adjust it so it's rotated, Austin? Uh, yeah, I can see if there's a yeah, the 30, I think it's, oh, no, no, it's 30 seconds ahead. All right. Well, this is, we're going to have to figure this out on the fly. That's great. You maybe edit in photos? All right. Well, we're not going to be able to do that. Let's just watch it. Maybe in post, Austin, flip it around for the watching audience. <laughs> well, that's me throwing a bottle of Perrier at Nico's head while he's taking a shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but epic. it kept going, didn't it, it? It kept going, and I stopped filming because I didn't know King Croc was going to do this. But uh, he walks in there, and, and, and there's uh, about how many guys are in the bathroom? There are so many people in the bathroom. A bunch of them are humorless pilots. Mm -hmm. There are two pilots next to me, and then a bunch of just young white guys who look like they work at a bank. Right. King Croc, I'm going to let you take the floor here exactly. and do exactly what you did. Yeah, so after you threw that bottle, uh -huh. I walked past and I was like, hey, that nigga in the first stall, that nigga got a little ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> little dick ass nigga in the first stall. <laughs> And keep in mind, it is completely <laughs> silent in there. And Geek Croc has Comple a do rag on too, right? I mean, yeah, dude, 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 it's it, too classic. It's so quiet. <laughs> There's no music coming in, no elevator music. All you can hear is just the soft trickle of urine hitting a right. urinal cake. Right. And King Croc comes in and just booms that in this echoey yeah. ass environment. <laughs> while Nico, the guy in the first stall with a with a according to King Croc, the little dick, yeah. just has to sit there helplessly. It's the best, and, it's the best thing ever, honestly. Say, yeah. I did. It was <laughs> first of all, one of the guys next to me snorted laughing, but then tried to yeah. conceal it. He probably did, he probably thought King Croc was gonna like fuck somebody up. Now King, mm. King Croc, he probably thought King Croc oh, was gonna for beat sure. He was, he's a giant scary black man saying this, <laughs> and, uh, and when, Leo and I yeah. we exchanged a look. We were crying was, laughing. Was, dude. We were laughing really fucking. It was hard. pretty fucking funny. And then uh, tell him what you did with the fucking pilot when you went. You basically you went into the cockpit. You oh, went into yeah, the cockpit, yeah. dude. So we're coming off the plane and. Yeah. Um, Nico's behind you. Nico's behind. I don't know if Leo told me to do it or Danny told me. To, somebody, somebody told we, me to we told you to. And maybe so I walk into the cockpit <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, sir, thanks for, you know, giving us a good flight. You got us here nice and safe. I have a buddy with me. The, the pilot is just so confused <laughs> yeah. and uncomfortable looking the, for the yeah. second this starts, by the way. Typically. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, and I'm just like, uh, yeah, he's in the blue, blue hoodie over there. I needed you to, like, uh, give him some advice. He's got a little wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> you called him a little dick. Yeah. Oh, I did. called him a little yeah, dick. You, you, you oh, definitely okay. called him a little dick. Yeah, yeah, you, you used the N word. Dick, you used, yeah, you yeah. used the N word yeah, for sure. You did. Which I'm sure made this pilot who was 66 and white as a sheet of printer paper. Yeah. And I'm sure he'd received many racial diversity lectures since George Floyd. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just PowerPoint after PowerPoint on inclusion. Right. I'm sure that just made his brain seize the fuck up. Mm -hmm. But With, you saw his his facial expressions like after I walked away. Did he did he seem like he enjoyed Like he was kind of... I saw... So we did this to two pilots. It should be mm -hmm. noted. We did oh. it to two <laughs> fucking pilots. This Forgot. is bit mode, dude. Our bit mode is a little gnarly. The dude. first pilot was deep in the cockpit as was King Croc. So I 
I didn't see that guy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. the second one guy loved it. One pilot. You guys and, are awful. And, yeah. and, and one one pilot just thought King Croc was drunk at first because King Croc yeah. was just like, yeah, he's got a little little wee wee. And then yeah. King Croc turns, he's like, there he is, right fucking there. Yeah. And the pilot sees Nico. And whenever you see Nico's face, yeah. just a ray of sunshine. Yeah. And then the pilot died laughing when he put face to wee wee. Yeah. Uh, it didn't stop there because we were having dinner <laughs> oh, and uh, there was a very. Well, uh, first of all, I want to let's get back to the very first bit that would almost happened. Oh, yeah. They were shooting an ad for the airport or for Southwest Airlines where they had a very jolly looking black man <laughs> in a three piece suit with yeah. a piece of luggage coming down yeah. the escalator over and over while a bunch of camera crew yeah. people filmed him. And this again, this is uh, visuals only on YouTube, but this was his facial expression. Yeah, it was so corny. <laughs> it was very, very corny. Yeah, and bro. we realized after the third time, they're like, cut, let's do one more. Come down again, Carl. The third time, we're like, dude, we have to go say or do something to this production crew <laughs> that's <laughs> over and over filming this guy yeah. smile like he's getting a rim job from an angel on heroin. <laughs> yeah. Like and he just had this f- f- corny ass fucking <laughs> smile and he was way overdressed. Who flies in a fucking suit? Dude, if you get, it's, this guy looked fucking really, really preppy and nerdy too. It was funny. So was funny we, we finally, when we're all congregating, we looked like a, a gang of 16 year old kids loitering with skateboards outside of 7 <laughs> yeah. Eleven. The director sees this and knows we're going to cause mayhem. And yeah. he comes over and says, Hey, you guys are in the shot. You guys, please, please, guys, just give us some space. Please, man, yeah. please. I'm begging you don't yeah. do a bit right now don't get behind carl on the escalator and fucking steal his suitcase or something yeah, yeah. Dude. so we we missed that one but yeah, then we yeah. go out to dinner and uh, somebody got a free dessert because uh mm-hmm. well we we just let the waitress know that nico had a little wee wee <laughs> and she uh decided that she wanted uh, to you know get in on the fun so she goes oh yeah i can tell and uh, everybody started laughing really, really heavily at uh, poor Nico. It was a Nico. black chick. It, it was, was black. a black chick. She was pretty, too. She was cute. She brought, she, Nico, she brought Nico a milkshake afterwards because he had a little wee-wee. She mm-hmm. gave him a complimentary <laughs> milkshake. It should have... Uh, he should carry a, around like a little wee-wee badge. So you should. He should <laughs> identify I himself a as having a little wee-wee. You know, it, yeah. get perks wherever you go. What do you think yeah. about what do you think about little wee-wee service dogs? Oh, my but, but instead of a golden retriever, it's a great Dane. So if a chick is a size queen, your great Dane can fuck her. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a little wee wee service dog. Dude, canine stunt cock. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and if you're if you're wondering with the where the great term the L L uh LDN. LDN. Yeah. LDN. Say it for me, King Croc. A little dick nigga. Yeah, where that came from, it's uh we've talked about it before, but Mr. Kinlaw, it's like yeah. Mook Dog on Instagram. He's a uh, he's on the 49ers. What position does he play? He is a defensive tackle. Let's watch it one more time. I I, I played the clip briefly on Sledge Lords today, but let's pull it up one more time just because it's it's really is one of my favorite clips ever. Let's uh, no, uh let's go to YouTube. Yeah. Oh, not this clip. No, okay. not this clip. This this there's no defensive tackle for the the 49ers in that clip, Austin. Okay, so, what am I what am I looking for? So look for uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Tra- Trayvon uh, Trayvon Kinlaw. Trayvon Kinlaw, something like that. If you touch, if you punch it in, it'll come up. Trayvon Kinlaw, 49ers, little dick. That should be all you have to punch in. If you're a brave soul, Oz, then you could put in the whole little dick sentence. But I don't know if he if he types that, he might get on a list somewhere. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Google might I don't know take away his email access. All right. Well, while that's going on, that'll just be fun to show. But what else do we do at the airport? I think we're missing something. Oh, yeah. King Croc sits next to one of the flights, the first leg back from Louisiana to Denver or Texas to Denver. Long story. We flew in and out of Texas. King Croc, we all gather in the back. Empty flight, which is beautiful. We get all the space we want. We have the back to ourselves. We're being loud. We're being assholes. King Croc sits next to a hot chick. Mm-hmm. And we all go, oh, God, here it goes. <laughs> and I think Leo decides that, hey, you know, let's pump our boy up. So, Leo, why don't you uh, say what you said? I go, uh, hey, uh, King Croc, you know, uh, what was it like playing in the NBA, man? Us mere mortals, like, we don't know what that's like, man. And just talk a little bit about that NBA contract and stuff, you know? Mm. And uh, there's this guy sitting up like 
a few rows up. He like turns around. And he's like, "Oh, I thought you guys were trolling. Now that's dope, man. You're you're, you're in the NBA." <laughs> and Jay Kroc's like, "Yeah, I just got traded, but yeah. I was yeah. like, hey, he's with the Pelicans now, but he's still a." And King Croc like, and then Leo, after we make it really loud that you play for the Pelicans, and the girl hears it clearly, and King Croc's yeah. hitting on her, of, of course. Yeah. Leo starts like ribbing me, like, "Yeah, dude, Danny, add on to this." And I'm like, yeah. "Motherfucker, <laughs> this game usually works with escalation." Okay, yeah, I started so, with the NBA. So yeah, the first thing you're supposed to say is like, "King Croc, do you mind? Uh, you're such a good cook, and uh -huh. you have such a beautiful kitchen. You mind making us a couple of steaks when we get back?" Mm -mm -mm. I look Hell forward yeah. to your casserole, something like that. A Hell little, yeah. a little mm -hmm. DHV, right? But not too much, not, not too... Not fucking NBA. <laughs> Have you seen the size of your contract? So I'm, I'm just like, I'm out, dude. First of all, I ate an edible before I got on the plane, so uh, I was already feeling a little introverted. Mm. But it's like, what do you want me to do? Like, hey, King Croc, what's it like having a big dick? <laughs> that's basically what happened, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's all you can do. Or like, that was all King you Croc, can do. how many bitches have you absolutely knocked the bottom off this week? <laughs> oh, my God. Let's watch our boy Kinlaw, Javon Kinlaw. There it is. Put some respect on my name, brother. I'm a man just like you. My nuts Hold is on. bigger than yours, Hold brother. Put I some asked respect you, on I my asked name. what I said about you. My balls is bigger than yours, brother. Put some respect on my name. All right, all right. <laughs> Put some respect on my name, brother. Stop talking about me like I'm a like I'm an animal or something, brother. What did I say about you? Don't worry. Don't worry about Don't worry. none of that. Don't worry about don't know. his name is MF on the Zoom yeah, call. Javon, you're gonna come on my channel. You're gonna try to bring and me hardcore facts, bro. Javon, you're gonna I'm come on my channel and tell me what to say and what not to say. You, 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 should, you, should, have some, you should have some. Posts. Say that, you should have some. You should have some. You should have some. You should have some. Nobody fucks with that. Nobody fucks with you. You don't even understand that. Nobody fucks with you, brother. You need to go find a new job. Nobody fucks with you. What does that mean? <laughs> mean what it mean? Nobody fucks with you. <laughs> Are you sure? Nobody fucks with you, fam. And the only reason I'm getting on here stupid to your level this low is because I feel like it got to be done. Somebody got to do it, and it's going to be me. Somebody okay. got to press you, fam. <laughs> He's you like spitting. Is he on the internet. <laughs> but when I press up on you in fucking person, you fucking shaking like a coward, voice lighter than my fucking baby, fam. What's up you with think that? I'm you, What's up with that, fam? You, you think better scared be scared of, of this guy. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you are or not. Yeah, All I know is when I walked up on you, your fucking body temperature was fucking cold as ice. Straight you bitch. Body temperature? Straight bitch. Your fucking balls shriveled up. Little dick nigga. <laughs> hey, <Javon, laughs> you think with me, bro? Javon, do you think you're representing the 49ers well right now? On this internet, bro. Javon, do you think the 49ers are proud like of what you know you're saying me, right now? Stop playing with me like you know me, bro. <laughs> I don't even know what like I don't even know why you're mad, bro. Javon. I'm not one of you your still friends. Still haven't explained why you're mad. Know me. You don't know me, bro. I don't. Stop Press pause, Austin. With me on That's basically it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's do this. How about everybody, members of the regime, listening? Let's go show Javon Kinlaw some love. Leo already yep. sent him a DM praising mm -hmm. him, and yep. Kinlaw got back in like five minutes and responded to Leo. Yep. Back at Leo's got his back. We, we <laughs> Leo DM'd him when we were on the Berkeley Oakland shoot. Yep. So can you pull up his Instagram? It's Mook. What? Yeah. I'll, I'll, it's let's, like Mook Dog guys, Three. This is a Javon Kinlaw. Javon Kinlaw. This is homework assignment, guys. Yeah. It's I would just look up Javon Kinlaw Instagram. I'll tell you. No, no, just just pulled Austin to Javon Kinlaw Instagram. Let's do that. This guy happens to be a baseball or a football player too. Javon Excuse Kinlaw me. Instagram. It's Mook M O O K underscore D A W G three. Bam. Mook, Mook Dog three. There he is. He's on screen, guys. Oh, yeah. Mook Dog three has given us so much entertainment, especially oh, yeah. on this last shoot. Let's go give him some love. Give him some love. Greatest inspiration. Let's go tell him fuck the haters. Yep. He's the fucking man, dude. He's the man. Let's, you know, let's give some love to Javon from the Danny Mullen regime. Javon Kinlaw. Oh, yeah. Dude's the shit. You're Great our boy. Tell him, to, uh, tell him you want him to blow up the next quarterback he plays. You want him to break through the nose guard, the center. Mm -hmm. Maybe preferably split a double team. Get oh, right yeah. on through to that quarterback and put him on the turf. Okay? Absolutely. Let's get some sacks for Javon Kinlaw. Let's get him fucking. Let's get him juiced up for his next game. Yeah, he's, I mean he's got some of the sickest sacks in the game. Oh, he's you know the I mean? best, dude. For sure, he makes Aaron Donald look like a sock puppet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're telling me, dude. dude J <laughs> Javon Kinlaw, dude, he uh, fucking defensive player of the year. Okay, straight up defensive player of the year. 
Dude, I mean, why are you, have you wearing that Rams hat, dude? 49ers, bro. Fuck Aaron Donald. It's all about Javon. We're all we're just a giant. We're, we're a Javon. big. Our entire fan base is just all about Javon Kinlaw from now on. That's yeah. who we love. Oh, that's a little sus, bro. Don't say it like that. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> talking about, about sacks and shit. <laughs> What if uh, King Croc? No, what if, cool what if Javon Kinlaw? What if he came onto the podcast? But you know, after we were done and the mics went cold, he like pulled you aside and took you into the bathroom. and was just trying to get you to suck his dick. Oh, fold that nigga, bro. Really? He's would, 300 pounds and six foot I would literally sleep that nigga. You will not God that shit. damn it, dude. If our fans are our fans, feet, they're, all <laughs> they're all going to send this clip to you, bro. They're all going to send this clip to him, dude. Our fans I'll sleep are going to be. Javon, like, don't even try that dude, shit with me, boy. Why would you say that? Our <laughs> fans are going to all about? send this clip to him now. I like how Kid Grok's getting mad like Javon proposed yeah. that and it wasn't me. Kid Croc, yeah. uh, we uh, we just told everybody to send love, and now you're saying you're gonna sleep him if he tries. You, try <laughs> you better not say that, to me, boy. <laughs> you knock the fuck. Well, I, I think he would. Uh, I think you're mistaken. I, I have to assume Javon Kinlaw would fuck you up, King Croc. I mean, he's a professional athlete, yeah. and he's he's one of the biggest positions on the football field too, in terms of sheer size. This well, guy's we'll not see. small. We'll see. We'll see. Well, Javon, we love you. Sending all love from the regime. We love you, Javon. Yeah, I want to take a piss, and then let's, let's transition into Big Bunches. Yeah, huh? Big Bunches is about to be here anyway, so let's uh, just wait till then. Let's do it. Take a picture uh, quick. We're uh, rolling. Okay. <laughs> so Big Bunches only. Big Bunches only. First of all, you look great. Thank you, you so much for dressing up. You guys might remember Big Bunches only from the Exposing Illegal Los Angeles Street Vendors video. Correct. One of my favorite videos of the year. It's a classic. Classic yeah. video. He looks great. It smells great in here because he brought his signature product, Eucalyptus. I can't tell you this, the, the, uh, the, the magnificence of taking a shower with this right wow. there and there with me. I'm going to hang it from the head. Actually, I'm going to make my girlfriend hang it up. Have in you there. tried so, it before? I, I've already had one batch of Eucalyptus. Didn't smell as good as this, though. And my boy. Hey, there's secrets to it. And I want to say it like Johnny would say it. Eucalyptus, dog. And this stuff smells so good. So if you're in L.A., you better buy eucalyptus from our boy, Big Bunches Only. Can we link him right in the description? Smell good. Austin? Buy it from Big Bunches Only. Big Bunches Only. You, uh, your voice, I want to ask you yes, about sir, this yes, because sir. we, we, um, we did some impressions of your voice in the video yes, where we, I as a white man, it's one thing if Leo yeah. does it because Leo's Latinx. But if I Latino do it, brothers, yeah. are you, um, is it offensive if I try to, to speak like you? Start off, how you guys doing? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Hey, Good what's night. up? How you guys doing? And, um, Buenas noches. <laughs> is that no, offensive? That no, no, because I'm, I have been told by my raza, uh -huh. you know, <clears throat> by my people, hey, what's up with this? What's up with that? Uh -huh. I have changed over the years, you know, my perspective. Hell yeah. On whatever... You know, has changed over the years. Fuck yeah, dog. And that's why <laughs> I, did, I didn't about? go. Stop, Danny. I didn't, hey, I didn't hey, go. Dog, go his aggressive. perspective no? changed, dog. No, hey, perspective, hey, your perspective, I'm pretty sure, has changed. Danny, has your perspective here, changed, dog? Have your perspective changed? I suppose. Hey, your, hey. hey perspective, but, but, but straight up, no, I did not get offended. Right. To the people on YouTube, mm -hmm. wherever the cameras may be. Yeah. No. <laughs> hey. We're in America, dog. Let's yeah. Go, dog. Big bunches. Hey, dog. If you want to fucking make a vato uh, impression sometimes, hey, dog, you can, hey, dog. Hey, uh, recently, like two weeks ago, uh, white, I, I don't know where I was at. I don't know what I was doing. I but a white guy with a glass, he like, orale vato. And I'm like, I, I, instead of getting mad, I'm like, what the fuck, orale, that's what's up. Hey, okay, okay. dude. Hey, hey, my boy, Um, we're in a country that doesn't have... No origin, and if there was, that's right, it's from different tribes, and they hated between each other, and they killed each other. Yeah, it's but the point, fake. but the point is, but the point is, there, there somebody came in and and had to rewrite history, just like how they did to to them. Because hey, hey, hell yeah, if, if, if you believe in, in when people get created from monkeys or whatever, mm -hmm. then you believe that if you create. If you believe in the theology that the, that the Smith, church, Joseph Smith is a philosopher, you know? he is. But, but the point is uh -huh. that it just depends on perspective, man. Fuck yeah, you and know it, we're we're all gonna be, you know, still. At the end of the day, you know? it's all about <laughs> yeah. eucalyptus anyway, dog. Right? Big bunches only by Let's Sweet go, Johnny. Big Don't forget that. Hey, Sweet Johnny, big bunches. You know what I love? You seem to be a very proud patriot. You keep emphasizing this is America. Nothing, nothing. Big bunches is more American. Than being an entrepreneur. That's right. Listen, you could go work for a paycheck 
at a Walmart or you could be sweeping up the floors. Washing dishes. For some janitorial company washing Buzz dishes. Boy. But you're out there, you know, you're pursuing something artistic. You're following the dream, baby. Little by little. And I just want to commend you. I respect you, big bunches. Gracias. Thank you. I respect hey, you. Hey, man, you're the man. I got a question about business and stuff, you know. Uh, yes, sir. You stealing the eucalyptus? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> not these. Fuck yeah, dog. Not uh, these not particular these. samples. But, but there was once that I came through a front yard that had a real natural growing out of the ground <laughs> eucalyptus. I took, yeah. hey, uh, hey, the ring's on me. Hey, you think I, hey. I'm still wearing the same hat, still wearing the same shirt that I was rocking. Hey, the ring camera who saw no. you, dog? Hey, fuck that ring camera. Nah, dog. hey, you better promote me and tag me and motherfucker. Big I bunch know where you only. live, dog. Yeah. Yeah. So Big Bunch is <laughs> nah. only. You hey, charged but, through a yard you, uh, somewhere in Los Angeles and you you stole perhaps <laughs> yeah. this no, very bouquet out of their yard. It's not cost in. I discovered. Right. I, like I discovered. That. I was walking through an unknown strange land. Yeah. And I discovered this beautiful, amazing aromatherapeutic plant that just captivated the sense of my nostrils and I was like yeah. wow I forgot about my problems man and, and then you know what I did what I hear? heard a voice I heard a voice yeah did you hear it I did no, uh, damn my boy steal the I, eucalyptus Johnny <laughs> Nah, hey, hey, you know hey, 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 that's how you know it's not you, cause he talked to me in Spanish, and this guy is talking to me now. That's the steel of los eucalyptus, Johnny. Johnny, no, is, hey, is it? I'm talking about the lavender. Right? Johnny, you should have like a catchphrase when you're about to steal the eucalyptus and shit. You know, like you should be like, hey. But fucking. that's the thing that it's not eucalyptus. Okay. First, I, I, I want to no pay more for it. There's stolen. no such thing as stealing. Dude, of course. I want to pay more. I don't give you. You know what I call this? If it's stolen, hundred percent profit, motherfucker. Well, no hey, hey, the bidding is going up. Hey, we got, uh, I go hear it already. Mm-hmm. 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 50. So, 75. So, 80. dollars <laughs> So, if you went into a motherfucker's <laughs> yard in Brentwood and you took their eucalyptus, Dude. nah, I can't. I, would, pay I, would, I wouldn't do that, but my boy, because um, it's just it grows from the, the earth, you know. It's, All right, well, let me ask you a question Where do you find some good eucalyptus? It grows from the earth, he said. I know, but I mean, where? Like, is it a museum that uses it as like decoration? There is. You yes. could, it could be found in Australia, and it's straight delivered from that continent. Okay. Because eucalyptus is native <laughs> to the land of Australia. Because the koalas Wait, eat oh, this wow. shit, right? I think uh, Leo, I know it, the koalas eat this Leo, shit. But you think you think they might decorate the lawns of the Getty Museum, perhaps? I think so. With you, you oh, think? hey, hey, you, hey, on the freeways. See? Man, I'm giving these people out. No, no it's what? okay. Nobody's too going. Game. You're you you you're too busy driving, doing your your jobs. I'm stuck in the traffic. You know what? Don't pay attention to what I'm saying. Just pay attention. Take a take a quick smell. Can you smell this? Through the, through the it thing. does. Yeah, smell yeah. It's a new technology. So is it was your was it your time doing uh was it community service by the freeways where you discovered the eucalyptus? <laughs> No, I, okay. I I didn't I didn't I didn't do that. Okay, okay. you ever been locked That's, up, bro? Leo, you're putting bug. the pieces together. You been ever you been locked yeah, up? Wait, you ever been locked up? Yes. Okay. You did, okay. did six months for steal, stealing some roses uh, back in the Pasadena area. <laughs> well, no, no, hey, Johnny. To, to, for for hey, objection, Your Honor. Hey, I sold roses in high school. I remember. Okay. Hey, you remember? This guy is. This guy hey, is hey, but then that didn't go out rude. Hey, um. In sixth grade, I sold moco de gorilla. Whoever speaks Spanish and know moco de gorilla is. It's great gel for your hair. It's top of the line gel. Leo oh, said really? that. Hey, He's Latinx, Leo. dude. Yeah. So the moco de gorilla and shit, dog. But, and the uh, teacher took it away. Hey, Miss Sims, yeah. I know you moco, kept that moco de gorilla. Moco de gorilla you. means literally booger, the gorilla boogers. Gorilla booger. Yeah. Sticky, sticky. Now, uh, now, this is great. Now, have you ever been addicted to any drugs of any kind? Whoa! I used to get high off California golden poppies, <laughs> but otherwise, I, I, heroin. I went to flower fucking rehab. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I baby. No, I, 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 um, uh, the word addiction is a very strong word, very heavy word. You know, to sugarcoat it straight up, because that's what is it is. I, I just call it just um, my cup of coffee. You know, everybody has a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. All right, yeah, so but, what know, is, but yours is heroin. What was it? What was your what was your? He's cup looking of tea? at me. Am I? Is this another Mousecock Miguel incident? Am I going to get attacked I, I, right I, here? I don't right know now? what that no. is, but but hell nah, hell nah. <laughs> nah. I have stayed away. I, I seen I seen it straight up, close to close. Uh-huh. And before when I was a kid, I know the effects of it. Yeah. Or, or what? The resultados. Right. The consequences of a, that. A fentanyl of, also? A, 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 of heroin. Fentanyl didn't exist when I was. Right. It probably did chemically. It did, right. but you know. But have the point ever, is, no, I haven't done heroin, dog. All right, good. Have you ever done fentanyl? 
No, what the fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> uh, you know, well, this, might, done, this done might be a weird done, question, but we, we got to ask it of you, sweet hey, ask, hey, hey, I'm ready. Uh, you ever sucked a dick? Hell no, nigga. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, we're just asking because, hey, you know. What the fuck? What type of question is it? Like, hey. was random man, what the fuck, dog? No hesitation. I'm sorry, dude. I Listen, we we didn't mean hey, to call you gay. Open fire. Hey, open range, dog. Hey, we didn't mean to call you gay in the Latino culture, dog. I know it's the worst thing you could be called. Hey, pero hey. Hey, I'm not Latino ex. Okay, you're not Latino X. You're dog. Latino. I'm Latino no, X. No, I'm. I, I, um, you want to see my ID? I am Johnny Towers. From where? AKA Sweet Johnny. He's American. From downtown Los Angeles, he's a, California. He's, Fuck a, yeah. he's American. He's not. He's I, not I, yeah. Los Angeles. Hey, who, who else? Hey, in the comments, who else knows the original name of Los Angeles? The city of smoke? The valley of smoke? Los no, Angeles? Nuestra Reina. Right, nuestra it was Señora longer. Reina de. Um, a P word, right. a long Spanish, long P? European. Oh, right. De Los Angeles, right? Los Angeles was well, the well, last. Por si cumpa Nuestra Señora de Los Angeles, but the point is, is here in the United States of America. and I like got, this guy. Hey, he Dude, he's the man. Oh, you got to accept it. You got to accept it. You he likes take the punches. Hey, zoom in. Hey, zoom in. Somebody punched you? Man, no, I, 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 nobody. Hey, I got down yesterday, fool. Why? Sure. Why did somebody, because of your... No, were you on a, on a big bunches? No, no, were you no, no, on no. a on a corner where the, where a guy was selling? I was, I was meditating. I maybe was jasmine meditating. flowers. Was, and he was doing like, meditates too. Dude, dude, but my meditation is your, it, it, sweet Johnny's meditation. You know, okay, it, it, it is 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 random. It's improvised. I think it's, he, I think it, he just thinks about out. big booty bitches. <laughs> he smoked big, out. Big booty bitches. <laughs> oh, so uh, my man, big booty bunches. Are you working on getting that front tooth? I want to pay. I want to start a GoFundMe for your front tooth. How much do you think you need to get it? Probably three hundred bucks. It, it, that's yeah. the thing is, you know, it's just um, that, that that like, ay ay ay. Seems emotional. How did you lose the front tooth? Tell us about it. Yeah, man. Well, he's getting punched in the loose. face while he's meditating. It was a wild <laughs> life. Was it? Is it true mm -hmm. you were trying to steal a bushel of lavender from a farmer and he came at you with a shovel? No. Okay. Okay. All I want to say is that I seen you on that Sledge Lords. Yeah. And they, they, they did the second or third episode of, of, yeah. of um, Energy Jeans. Like yeah. I say they didn't have this. Venom. They, they, they don't got this Venom. Yeah. Venom. 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 That's they, Venom. Shout out. Literally like. Quit plugging Venom, dude. What? Plug your shit. Plug you can live. You can live this. Fuck Venom. Oh, there we go. That's an experience. That's an experience for the listener. So Big Bunches, what's your living situation like? I know you're a survivor. I know you go. He's chugging it, Leo. And you hustle at the markets, right? Every Tuesday, what is it? You go around Saturdays. Saturdays. Yeah, Saturdays. You go around. What? Are, what's your living situation like? Do you have any roommates? Uh, at the moment, before, remember when I went to go check you out at the um, on Thursday? On the show, and then yeah. On the Sunday, he came to my comedy show. Dude, he's a big fan. So uh, he's so a good both, fan. So big bunch is always the shit. Uh, yeah, and then the point is, you know, shit happens, my boy. You know, life, life. It, you know, yeah, I get when it. less expected, and that's the right. best part, you know. <laughs> but when you know that, you kind of expect it, but then you're like, hey, what's going on? Oh, yeah. everything's gonna go good, bah. right? You know, and then you're like, oh, shit, okay. So, where do but you the live? But the point dog? is, yeah, where do you live? I live near USC. Okay, is it uh, you got a roommate's? No, nah. your mom? No, nah. is it by yourself? Yeah, you live by yourself, dog? Yeah, hey, it's pretty good, bro. I don't know if I believe him. You got a studio apartment and shit, or what? What is it? A one bedroom or a studio apartment? It's a mash. It's a mansion. Okay. No, he's capping. Yeah, is this cap, his face? Cap. It was cap face. Yeah. Cap. Hey, my man. I Keep it a buck, bro. Where you living, bro? In Tell the car, fool. You live in the car. Damn. He lives in his car. Ah. What kind of car? What kind of car? A mansion. Hell a yeah. Mansion See, it's all about your perspective, yeah. dog. And if your perspective is that it's a mansion, dog, then who's going to tell you it's not? Listen, so if you believe right? it, it's real. Hey, for, you, you, I went straight off. I told you it's a car, but I can't imagine. Danny, you did give me that book, uh, is The it Science of SUV? Getting Rich, and he's got no. the right attitude. Dude, this guy's going to be. That would be a car mansion, dog. This guy's. I'm going to call it now. I'm going to call it now. Big Bunches is going to be a rich man. Right, right, right. I'm calling it now. Big Bunches is going to be a rich man. Listen, everybody, it, before, you, before everybody continues, Guys, please, Leo and I are going to pay handsomely for, for this, these. For this yeah. eucalyptus. Please go pick something up from Big Bunches only. Do you yeah, ship it out? It out. Can people who I live... Did, hey, excuse me. For people, Los Angeles County, from the Valley, San Fernando Valley, San Gabriel Valley, San Pedro, Inglewood, Compton, I deliver. Hell yeah. South Central. Hey, I deliver. Straight up. Big Bunches only by Sweet Johnny. 
Big bunches only. We got to get oh, yeah. we got to get some sort of business platform going for you, so you can service the people who live. Outside of Los Angeles County, maybe ship station. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. shout out to all the Danny, Mally, Danny Mullen and yeah. Leo and King Croc and Austin and Big D Dino and Mufflap yeah. fans <laughs> in Hell Canada yeah. and Australia. Yup. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. 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 Canada Mostly. and Australia. He's whole only, bunch of them. He's only being nice to them. Canada and Australia because yep. they have good produce. Yeah. He knows he can go up there and start ripping off more eucalyptus. Big bunches People, is living I don't know in what these guys are talking about, man, but please follow this guy. Please follow him in case his operation expands and he can start. Start sending it out to the rest of the uh, contiguous United yes. States. Yes, hey, coming soon. Um, national shipping across the United States of America. Big bunches only. My sweet Johnny. Yes, sir. Big bunches. How did you get into this business? Why this business as opposed to anything else you could have done? <sighs> it's not anything. It's still one of them. But most important... I never know. I never knew eucalyptus, the species of plant eucalyptus, was so close to me in this right, city. Right. You know, mm. from literally the trees in the freeways. Yeah, Elysian Park, Griffin mm. Park. Don't and tell also, people your parks. And also, um, Bath and Body Works. They have a whole line of. I remember. I, I've read about. Are you eucalyptus. stealing? Is this stolen from Bath? Bath? No, Hopefully. man. <laughs> Hopefully it was. That's the man. No. That's Robin Hood. You're the Robin Hood, dog. You're the. I, I ain't, hey, the Robin, hey, Robin Hood. Hood. Dude, he's hey. Robin Hood. He's Robin Hood. You're the the Robin. Just like the Bible, I feel like Robin Hood story was a little manipulated. You're Ronaldo. So you, let's give you a Latino name for, instead of Robin Hood. R Ronaldo uh, Hernandez. Latino name. Dog. You're the Hey, Ronaldo. we're United States of America. Dog. We're doing right, business sweet, here. Johnny, we're you're doing right. business here. No Latino name. Hey, you're right. You are, I'm quit sorry. This down. You are Robin Hood, dude. You know what they do? You know what they do at Bed Bath and Beyond? <laughs> They're chopping down the Australian rainforest. They, right. That they have a rainforest there. Damn. Okay, remember he says they're chopping that shit down. They're stealing the eucalyptus. They're exploiting the aborigines and the dingoes. Mm -hmm. They're shipping this back to America. They're slapping a price tag on it, probably $80 a bouquet at Bed Bath & Beyond. You're going in there. You're fucking putting it up in your sweatshirt, walking out the door, and selling it to the people for how much is this? $15. 15 bucks. That's Robin really Hood. nice, but what is your Venmo? He's, he's Robin Hood. Do you have a Venmo? No, no. Hey, uh, Any online moment, stuff? Cash, cash only. Out? Cash only. Okay, you got to get Venmo, Big Too Bunches. secure. I'm going to give you a good uh, tip for this bad boy, dog. You got to get Venmo, dude. But Venmo will help you. Can you get a? Can you get it on a bank account and put it on your phone? Yes. You, you got, got it, bro. Dude. All you need is a debit <laughs> card. It's like, bro, put... Bring a little cash to the bank. Put it in there. Say, I want a debit card. They'll give you one. Okay. Then you can make a Venmo, and all of a sudden, people can... Give you some money, dog. You know, donate a little bit of cash your way. It'll go right in your bank account. And we got you, sweet Johnny. But you're, uh, dude. Sure. I really admire you. I admire you, man. You're, you're living in your car. I thank you, Mister, uh, Mister Leo, for yeah, yeah. invitar me. Of Hoy. course, bro. Gracias. Of course, of course Mister Danny. Gracias. Thank you. Sweet Johnny, you know, listen, man. This attitude you have in life, I think it's going to take you places, kid. Little by little. Little by little. That's the key. That's the goal. That's the key, man. Just one step at a time every day. Yeah, you, and I, well, you and I are going to do a video where we go eucalyptus hunting. Dude. Dude, <laughs> nah, Danny, honestly, gonna, bro. going to be a little bit too. Hey, how about, I don't know. You, you don't want to give we, away we, your. No, I just don't. Could I say something? Yeah. yeah. All right. So I watched uh, fully I, on the pod, from the podcast videos. I watched the one. Um. The ghost one, mm -hmm. the Pasadena, and I'm like these motherfuckers, because I've been on the same shit too. I've yeah. been there, yeah, um, during the daytime. The obviously. bridge, the yeah, death, for the I chilled there. Yeah. Chad Kalick showed us. Yeah. Um, but the point is, and I, I, I already wrote it down, and it's gonna happen with Mr. Danny or Leo or without them. But Sweet Johnny is gonna be there. I don't know what time, pero this is my idea. This is what I want to do. If you guys want to join in, mm -hmm. that's what's up. But the point is, whoever wants to join in too. You're not gonna point kill is, yourself, are you? Nah. Jesus. What the fuck? Well, look, look, look. In, 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 like either, it. either in a noche, sometime between. <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't kill know. Myself, I don't, no, no, no. Sometime <laughs> between twelve or three, or in the daytime. 
okay, the point is, I'm gonna just jump chill off the there. Bridge, no, 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 fuck that. Nah, it's going to be under, in the Arroyo Seco, in the Arroyo Seco. And then around between 12 and 3, you guys can film and shit, and then just, I'm going to jump, dog. Just exactly, the setup, the exact setup, how you have, you know? And then, and then I'm just jumping, there, dog. And then just there with a cup of coffee, whatever you want to drink, you know, your, your, yeah. your little whiskey, fireball, whatever. We're drinking And, and you're just chilling there, just chilling, just, just, just captivating the... Just, you know, just seeing it, just, you know. And then I'm going to leap, dog. Yeah. <laughs> and you it. can't leap if you're already down, you know. Swan dive, dude. I'm going to swan dive, dude. Then, dog, you're going to see me fucking do a couple backflips into the cement, nah, dog. Nah, my boy. Nah, that's, <laughs> gonna, that, nah, that's suicide tuck, is not funny, fool. I'm going to tuck in, roll to the, the cement, dog. <laughs> Hey, boy, you better I'm have a big, right. you better have a big bunch of eucalyptus before you drop, so you go, <laughs> That's right. so, so you go them. reincarnate into right. something anti-stress relieving. Just you know, be able... Johnny, we don't actually want you to kill yourself. No, obviously, dude. we were just. It oh, sounded cool. like the way you were setting it up. <laughs> yeah. You wanted us to all go kill ourselves <laughs> together. That's where. Oh, what the fuck? That's where we go to the suicide out. bridge in Pasadena, dog, okay. and then. So, nah, the, shout so out to Pasadena. Big punches only. You laughing? Tell me about the last quality piece of ass you got. She broke up with me. Ah, bro, you oh. were dating a chick, dude. Latino guys. The truth is, they can always pull a Latina, dude. Yeah, I, I, hey, especially I a hardworking hey, guy like him. Hey, she was like, like oh, oh, um, you telling me what to do in my own house? You yelling at me? I'm like, you're stealing my eucalyptus. It's called se llama pasión, mami. Se llama pasión. It's passion, mami. <laughs> That's right. Dale, ya que tú no entiendes. Can they you, don't understand. I, you can throw down. You can lay down the pipe, huh? Big bunches only. I'm like, what pipe? Let's see, pass it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, hey, my boy, hey. Can you bang? Todo, todo depende en la muchacha, dog. It's it depend all like, depends it's two on the female, tango, dog. Do you think his sexual habits involve plants? You think, I mean, he, yeah. you think he puts, hey, uh, you think he puts a bunch of eucalyptus this. up his asshole before well, he fucks course, a girl? Of course, dude. I mean, it's going to smell <laughs> fresh, dude. Uh, sweet Johnny, just a quick question. Have you ever put any eucalyptus up your asshole before you uh, sex with a chick? <laughs> no. Oh, sorry, have you dude. ever? Have you ever used... <laughs> The uh, the drippings from a rose vase is lubricant. You can use it like that. No. You can use it like that. Have you ever, uh, I don't know, used a carrot as a butt plug? What the fuck? Just answer God. the question, John. Why the fuck would that cross <laughs> my mind? Because I just, you know, I wonder if people who have such a, I love it, the singular focus on their career, I wonder if the thing they're focused on starts to make its way this, to the This was talking about carrots in the butt to careers. What the fuck? <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, who's singular vision? Me uh, what the I fuck? I mean, sometimes when I'm having sex with my girlfriend, I'll make okay, a funny face. I'll like, Sweet John. Uh, and that's what I, I'm a comedian. Sweet Johnny, hey. some, uh, let's talk, I, just for some ideas on how to sell these bad boys, I think you should have a batch called Stolen from Bed Bath and Beyond, dog, and that, and then people can order the stolen. Like, hey, what kind of eucalyptus do you want? Uh, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll call it. I'll call it. I'll call it. Uh, Four hundred five. You know what? Uh, Four hundred five. That, that'll be another another you brand. Going to invite a lawsuit. You know, you, know, you know how Armani. You know how Armani. You yeah. know how Armani. They have is still Armani, but they yeah. have different names. <laughs> yes. You know. Right. So the other the other brand, the the raw and fresh and wild, because this is. I have another. This is the this is the private reserve. This is the wild. Damn. This is what I call the wild. This is wild caught. This is wild caught. Wild lavender. caught, dog. Yeah, this it's not stolen. The domestic stuff. Ain't nothing stolen. Ain't nothing stolen. No. Nope. Nothing stolen. Dog. Except Everything for the is stuff is not wild. And, and caught in the wild, fresh. What was this caught in the wild? No, this was caught. This so lavender. this was stolen. Nah. So this was stolen from Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> So you should maybe sp- a play, a play on the words or something. You should be like, this is beyond Bed, bed Bath & Beyond, dog. <laughs> this is the beyond, dog, because it's beyond into oh, your thank hands. thank you. It's thank that, you, Big Bunches. Lavender. Make oh, sure it smells so good. Danny, honestly, bro, a, a day with him, bro, would oh, be an we're going. amazing We're video. going, dude. Hey, we're taking bunches. your mansion around the city, and we're going through people's gardens. Buddy, we're going on a day of, of sales. Do you know how many sales I'm going to get you, bro? Oh. I'm such a good salesman, dude. Dude, we oh. are we're gonna change your life, dude. Flower sale. Oh, I'll sell Leo. somebody as Manny, dude. I'll sell so many of these eucalyptus. Leo, dog. I'm so psyched to change his life. Dude, we are gonna change his life. And cause Sweet Johnny we're, has we're the gonna work change ethic each other's we like. Yeah, he's yeah got we're gonna that change energy. The, the, the every, ethic. There's a teamwork. There's a teamwork. We're gonna change every, everybody's life. Team the Sweet like Johnny's got the work ethic that we like here on the Leo and Danny show, though. Absolutely. He's got that fire. I'm down. How much money are you making, Johnny? Slang and stolen lavender. Next question, please. How much money are you making selling not stolen lavender? Like about that was easy fix. Mm-hmm. A good a, uh, a good profit. Well, it's all profit. It's, a, it's all profit because you know. 
is stolen, dog. <laughs> no. Es <laughs> stolen, stolen, homie. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This episode is unbelievable. I know, dude. Oh, it's so hey, good. Hey. What? Hey. Uh, <laughs> you know what, man? I've been wanting to say this for a very long time, man. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Dude, you sweet haven't Johnny's, heard that song before, huh? Dude, so, sweet Johnny, you're the man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're the man. This is the best. I mean, this is the best. Is the best. Crock, BBC is the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BBC he's the fucking man. man. Dude. BBC is Mr. the man. Mr. Austin is the man. Hey, the best oh, Hey. I'm a little big timer. Why? Because I'm surrounded by big timers. Hey, Ryan, oh, right, yeah. he's a little big timer. Can you ask him if he's a little dick? Are you a little dick nigga, bro? We just gotta know. Because <laughs> we can't have no little dick niggas in here, bro. No cap. Hells nah. <laughs> Who the fuck? Nah, I, I believe it. Remember what I said? Hey, I believe it. This guy's got some cojones. Oh, yeah. We got some cojones, oh, yeah. that's that's cojones that's man. That's, hey. See, it, uh, the contrast between oh. that answer mm -hmm. and when I asked him if these were stolen, <laughs> that tells you all you need to know. That's right. No man. hesitation in that I got a big dick. <laughs> no, no. No, well, big bunches. I feel like that's a pretty <laughs> natural conclusion to the show here. That was great. I just, I want people to make sure they're following you on Instagram. Austin, get down there. If you're in LA, you got to get some of this delivered. It smells phenomenal. Unreal. Yeah. I'm real. My girlfriend's going to not hate me when I bring this home. She's going to be very, very happy. So happy myself. So you're the fucking man. Sweet Johnny. Gracias. So glad we met, brother. The fans, Gracias. go show him some love. Go show Javon Kinlaw some love, these two guys. Yup. And uh, it's been the Leo and Danny show, and it's been real. It's been real. real. So Don't remember forget. to check out Leo and Friends as well, guys. Peace.